So I actually found this video on YouTube by Ryan Hildreth claiming that you can make thousands of dollars per day uploading YouTube shorts to your YouTube channel. This channel right over here was started five months ago and is earning $115,000 per month and $1.4 million per year uploading YouTube shorts. And no, you don't need any experience or even a camera. And that there are channels out here making $115,000 per month just uploading these types of videos. And honestly, these types of numbers are pretty insane. And so in today's video, we're gonna talk about how much you can realistically make from YouTube shorts, how to create them, and how much I've made with them in the past 30 to 90 days. So make sure you guys stick to the end of the video because I promise you, you'll be very surprised. So you guys can see here in Ryan Hill just video where he is showing the anime video getting a million views. Then he shows the account on Social Blade and it says that they're making a ton of money um the one thing that i do want to mention is that he fails to mention on how these videos actually make money if you guys didn't know on february 3rd youtube started monetizing youtube shorts this means that people put ads on these youtube shorts and you get paid for these placements but one thing that he didn't disclose and that you guys need to understand is how much you're actually getting paid per view on these youtube shorts like if we go to my channel right here i posted this short some months back and it has 345,000 views and this is within the business niche which is actually one of the highest paying niches on YouTube and it literally has only made me maybe pennies and under a dollar and you guys can see here I've only made 20 cents with a 40 second long YouTube short and this video is continuously getting views over time and it still isn't making that much money and if we were to do the math here and figure out how much we're actually getting paid per view that equates to 0 0.0000058 cents it's easy money so we catch you. <laughs> and we can also take a look at some of the other most viewed shorts on my account here. And it's quite obvious if you're trying to do YouTube shorts for a living and just make a whole bunch of money from it, I can guarantee you, you're gonna end up on the streets. And to be honest with you guys, my channel actually got recently monetized over the past couple of weeks. So I do thank you guys for that. And if we were to talk about the anime channel that Ryan Hildreth was talking about, there's absolutely no way that they're making this much money per month. $100,000 per month is completely unrealistic. And I'd be as bold to say that they're probably making close to zero dollars uploading these types of videos. Now let me show you how you can actually make money with YouTube shorts. And I mean even a couple thousand dollars a month in profit even if you're a beginner. I've been using this method for a while and it has brought in a good chunk of side income. So if you guys go on YouTube and look up the back stretcher or the back cracker, you guys can see that there are a couple of big accounts that have super viral shorts and they're actually drop shipping these products. And I'm talking millions of views but these channels aren't relying on the monetization of these YouTube shorts. All they're doing is simply putting the product link to their Shopify store that is showcasing the product in the comment section of every single one of their videos and they're pinning it. And you guys can see this account is doing the exact same thing. All they're doing is linking their store in the description and that way people can purchase the product. And believe it or not, you actually don't have to create completely new videos if you want to upload shorts on YouTube. And let's say you have a TikTok account as an example for a product that you're trying to sell. All you guys would have to do is copy the link from that TikTok video, go over to a tool called SnapTik, paste the link there and then that way it'll remove the watermark and then you can re-upload it on YouTube shorts and when you guys go to create your YouTube account you want to make sure that you have the same exact logo that you had on your TikTok account and I know what you guys are wondering well what if I don't have any type of pre-existing social media for my products that I'm trying to sell well what I suggest that you guys do and this will cost you from around maybe 20 to 50 dollars or so is to go on Amazon and purchase the product have it in hand create your own videos and then you can upload shorts that way in a way that you guys can actually make money from this is by a concept like drop shipping. So let's say you're selling a product on your website for $50 and you get an order. Well, now you can go on a platform like AliExpress, which is a supplier for billions of different products. And you can find it on there for a lot cheaper, let's say $20. And now you have $30 in profit in your pocket because you haven't spent a dime on paid advertising. And then another thing you guys can do as well is find clips online of your product, let's say on TikTok or maybe Pinterest, and then try to re-upload those videos on your YouTube. And I've seen a lot of people do this and I would just approach it with caution because I Obviously, they're not your videos. And if it's your first time trying to sell a product or service using YouTube Shorts, all I recommend that you guys do is have a decent phone. Like this is an iPhone X that you can have. It has a really high quality camera and you just film five to 15 second long videos trying to create viral content. And I know what you're wondering, well, how can I even create viral content? I don't even know how to create a simple product video. The good news is, is that you don't have to try and reinvent the wheel. If you have a product that already exists online, if you go on TikTok, look up that product and then you sort 
or by the most viral videos, I highly recommend that you guys try to replicate those videos of your product because those are probably going to perform extremely well. This is something that a lot of people do on YouTube shorts or just advertising their product. This way they can achieve the same, if not more virality for the same products. You also wanna make sure at the end of every single one of your YouTube shorts that you have a call to action at the end telling the customer that they can go down to the comment section to purchase your product. And that's extremely important because a lot of people don't do this and you're gonna be missing out on a lot of sales. Now the YouTube Shorts editing tool is actually extremely easy to use, but what I like to do is simply upload the videos on TikTok and then download them and then re-upload them on YouTube Shorts. The TikTok video editing tool is a lot easier for me to use and on top of that, you can add viral sounds as well as opposed to YouTube Shorts that only allows you to use like five second clips of audio. So let me actually show you how much I've made the past 30 to 90 days uploading YouTube shorts. So from November today, you can see that this has brought me in over $10,000 and this is majority profit, about 50 to 60% is profit because I haven't spent any type of money on paid advertising. I simply utilized YouTube shorts to get traffic to my website. And all I did was put my store link in the comment section and people were able to click on it, go to my website and purchase the product. So realistically, you can make a couple thousand dollars a month in profits depending on the type of content that you create. And another really good niche that you guys can get into for YouTube Shorts if you don't want to do drop shipping is finance. Finance types of videos get insane amount of views. We're talking like in the hundreds of millions on YouTube. And these Shorts videos make tons of money and all they're doing is putting affiliate links in the comment section for a free stock or maybe their courses. And the cool thing about YouTube Shorts as well is that you can gain a lot of subscribers. And the more subscribers that you have, there's going to be more potential for people to want to watch your next video, which can mean more money. And you guys can take a look at my YouTube channel right here, I've gained the majority of my overall subscribers within the past three months. That's 15,000 subscribers and 99% of them came from posting YouTube shorts. You just have to make sure they're interesting and they provide some sort of value. And because of these shorts that I've been uploading on this YouTube channel, I've been able to post my website on the comment section in these YouTube shorts that include my services on building professional websites and then also trending products. And I even turned it into a subscription and now I have another method of passive income every single month, even if it's just a couple thousand dollars in profit. And a lot of these shorts weren't that much work, mainly because I did all the work on TikTok and I'm just repurposing those videos onto my YouTube channel. And I'm sure that's where a lot of you guys probably came from. So really at the end of the day, you can actually make a lot of money with YouTube shorts, but if we're talking like 100K or a million dollars per year, like, come on, bro, you're not Mr. Beast. Now, one thing that I don't really understand at the moment is why YouTube hasn't implemented some sort of external link or button within the YouTube shorts that'll allow people to click on it and then go to a website. This will honestly make things a lot easier and help people bring more revenue in. But maybe they'll add this feature in the future because honestly, YouTube Shorts is still in its beginning stages. And a lot of other platforms are simply copying TikTok, right? So YouTube Shorts replicated TikTok. We have the idea pins on Pinterest. We have Instagram Reels. So it's safe to say if you have some videos that are performing well organically on let's say TikTok, you should be repurposing them for all those other platforms as well. This way you guys can maximize your earning potential. In addition to this, if you're somebody that's used to creating long form content like this, you guys can take crucial clips within these videos, like valuable clips and create short form content for it. All you'd have to do is take the YouTube link, go over to a site like Streamable and then cut it down to that specific clip. Then you can use a video editor app like InShot to reformat it in 16 by nine. And then you can start uploading on YouTube shorts. But other than that, you guys, hopefully you got a ton of value out of this video and you sort of understand how much you can realistically make with YouTube shorts this year. So if you got any type of value, be sure to subscribe down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.